Hi Ken, it's David again. Um, earlier I talked about questioning and I wanted to elaborate uh, on the record about questioning. Uh, the different questions that we ask lead us to what we choose to think about and develop in our imaginations and, and by faith and by wonder. And so um, it's good to practice continually asking questions. Now, some people would say, well, what types of questions should we ask? And President Rockwood, um, yesterday at church, he, he talked about the questions that the Savior asked. And so sometimes people would ask the Savior questions, and sometimes he would respond to their questions with questions. And so I think it's just cool because it shows the importance of asking questions, and it shows the importance of asking good questions. And the Savior's questions perhaps aren't quite like the questions that we might ask, but for Heartbeat City, if we choose to make our questions Heartbeat City focused, they lead to Heartbeat City inspiration, and Heartbeat City magic, and Heartbeat City wonder, and Heartbeat City marvels. Um, and so, uh, you know, like basically at any time during the day at, or at night when you have a question uh, on your mind, or if you begin to ask questions, uh, God will give you inspiration on how to develop things. And if you teach your children to ask questions, teach them while they're young. Teach them to question in uh, specific areas and to continue questioning. There's nothing wrong with it. And it actually opens up our minds and, and uh, helps us to, to develop um, spiritually and emotionally. And it helps us to develop into adulthood. And into adulthood, we just never stop questioning. We just keep questioning throughout our lives. And it's good. And you might be surprised at how much we don't know when we begin to, or sorry, when we when we begin to question or as we continue to question. And so I leave that with you and hope you'll uh, take, take me up on that challenge to begin questioning with a greater frequency uh, straight from the scriptures with what is written there in all of the standard works and in the words of our dead and living prophets and then taking uh, your personal insights and developing them in, in your life by a personal application within your sphere of uh, responsibility or your, within your sphere of influence in the things that you do. So, you know, if you're a performer, you just question about how you can perform better and what things will make you be a better performer or, or develop your talents and abilities better. If you're a story writer, you question how can I become a better story writer? If, if we're building rides for Heartbeat City or amusement uh, or media or anything like that, how can we make it better? How can we perfect it? How can we improve it? Uh, if we are serving one another uh, and Heartbeat City is uh, your lifelong servants in that regard, uh, how can we become better servants? How can we become better at helping people learn to develop themselves properly spiritually with their personal relationship with the Savior? And, and what that will do for them over the course of their life and what it will do for their future posterity and our, our posterity in our lives. And I believe you'll find the results will be really good. That's my prayer and my hope, and I, I'll leave that with you. And I uh, just wanted to get that on record for now, and I'll talk to you later. All right, bye.